Welcome everyone to the second episode of the Buffalo Bills franchise mode with rosters from 1995. And in today's episode, we just got some more regular season games, just kind of middle of the season. I mean, we're a little bit towards the end, but at this point, games are not really mattering that much, but it's really now just seeding. And we're facing off today against division rivals, first of three division rival games against the New England Patriots. We're only one game ahead of the Dolphins in the division, so we need to really get these divisional wins. Here are the highlights. That's good pep in their step. You go to them early and often. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Touchdown! A great effort there. To his team. Guys, how does a guy that big get that open? Now, that's what I was wondering. Yeah. Imagine him as a kid trying to play hide and seek. No chance. No chance. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. From 13 yard town. Now Aikman looking to throw. Looking middle, and that's complete. Touchdown, Patriots. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. And now look at this big gain, but a fumble. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And his away from you. No matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. But this offense looks like they have a little... And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. The 20. And all the way in. Touchdown. But it's got to take more than that to keep from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo. The Patriots will bring on the field goal unit. From the right hash, it's a 46-yard attempt. And the 10-year back knocks it through the goal. And now the field goal team on for Buffalo. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And his kick is right there. It's five thus far. This is third and 16. Aikman operating from the gun. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. And the Bills are going to take possession of the... Would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. A great play there. So it went on to win the game. 31-24, very, very clutch drive there towards the end. I mean, a 15-point fourth quarter is exactly what you what you need in a game like this. And thankfully, we were able to get it. They had more passing yards than us, but other than that, we dominated in all the other facets. Dan Marino, pretty solid game, 16 for 23, 274 yards, two touchdowns. Roger Craig, leading rusher, seven carries, 59 yards, two touchdowns, which love to see out of our third down back. Receiving-wise, Novacek was our best pass catcher, 6 for 105 and a touchdown, but Jerry Rice was just behind him with 6 for 99 and, and a touchdown. Tim McDonald, strong safety, led the team in tackles this game. I also just realized Lawrence Taylor had 5 tackles, and all of them were tackles for loss. And he also led the team in sacks 2 and a half this game. He was abusing whatever tackle they put out on him. Tally also got a sack, same with Fuller, and Childish got a half. Eugene Daniel had the lone interception on the game. Lynn Elliott did miss an extra point, but other than that, was very good. And now it's time to face off against the Jets, who are in the basement of the division. Should be an easy win. Here are the highlights. I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Now Marino. Throw left side, completion to Rice. The 30, 10, 5, and all the way home for the Bills touchdown. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Off play action, Brown. Now Brown, oh, he lost the football. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And this is going to be brought back for a Bills touchdown. Off the play fake. Brown. 
nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And now nothing but green ahead of him. He's at the 40. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the to work on a first and goal. Marino on play action. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. Touchdown, Bills! It's the... They'll try and throw four with Marino. That is caught by Rice. For the Bills. Here to start quarter number four. Third and goal, Marino. That is caught by Schoener. Touchdown, Buffalo. It's his 19. Looking to throw. Brown. And it's intercepted. And the Bills are going to take possession. But as many people pointed out to me, it's a video game, man. <laughs> Go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. And they're going to fake it. He wants to throw it here. Pass is caught for a first, but he's looking for more. The fake field goal catches Evans down near the 25. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. So we won this game in much more convincing fashion. Like I said, should be an easy win against a very inferior divisional opponent. I mean, 4 2 nothing. Dan Marino had himself a day. 12 for 13, 217 yards, 4 touchdowns. Phil Sims on that fake field goal even got a touchdown pass. Just really goes to show how much dominance that we had. Bo Jackson, leading, leading rusher, but didn't really get the running game going because the passing game was just so good. Jerry Rice, 5 catches, 120 yards, 2 touchdowns, and Sterling Sharp had a touchdown catch along with Met Lazars and Anders. Carrier, leading tackler with the for the team with 6. Charles Haley had 3.5 sacks on the day. That obviously helped the team a whole lot. And on the opposite side, Taylor had 1, so it's really easy just to tell whether a team has good left or right tackle depending on whether Taylor or Haley gets more sacks. Sam Mills also got a sack, and Clay Matthews got half. Carrier and Lewis got interceptions in the game. Lynn Elliott perfect from extra point range. And we've now got a two-game lead over the Miami Dolphins in the division. If we win this one, it should be three out. And I think that would clinch us the division as well, so this game is actually very, very important. Here are the highlights. For second and eight. They'll stay on the ground with Williams. And he's got some space here. There he goes, right side. The 20, 10, 5, and all the way in for a Miami. Stopped him pretty well right in his tracks, and you often see that in the red zone. Offense has to be quick. And it that is caught by Rice for the Bills touchdown. And a third and goal. They'll look to throw on third and goal. He's got it! Touchdown, Dolphins! Last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot. And he is into the end zone for the Buffalo touchdown! I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be a... There he goes, right side! Pass the 20! And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Normally when he gets caught, it's in a passing situation. Marino on play action. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies and it's intercepted. Back hurt before the playoffs roll around. And we know they'll be here before you know it. And that is caught. Touchdown Miami. A great play there. With it. Now, but that clock rolling. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. A great effort. Martial arts schools have worked on their hands so often because that could be the make or break difference on a play. This time, he had to grip. He rifles one that's intercepted. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. 10. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a pick. 
They'll try and run. This is Williams. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Marino will throw. Throw left side, completion to Rice. And he's got Rome. There he goes, left side. And all the way home for the Bills touchdown. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. He right, forces one there. It's a potential dagger as it's intercepted. Throwing here, Marino. And look at this. They get the turnover. They need it. It's intercepted. And the... As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Well, he forces one there. It's a potential dagger. And there's a defender there. He just comes down with the ball. He competes and takes it away. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. So we did win this game as well. Very, very close game. Actually a really good, fun game to play. I mean, both teams almost had 500 yards total offense. We had 500 yards. 62 total yards of offense or just total yards in general so really really good game and thankfully fourth quarter didn't really matter but yeah it was a interesting end to that game to say the least dan marino 20 for 24 427 yards four touchdowns and four interceptions bo jackson didn't really do anything but jerry rice had another jerry rice game 11 catches 318 yards and three touchdowns roger craig was the got the other touchdown catch but team was just firing in all cylinders sam mills eight tackles on the day not as many sacks which is why i think a lot of the offense to be as good you know a lot of those third down sacks we just weren't able to get this game but eugene daniel pick six and two other interceptions and of course lynn elliott was perfect and to end the season we are playing with some interesting players so Thurman Thomas already out for the year, you know that. Lawrence Taylor is going to be out until the final week. Same goes for Salamua and Grimm, who are going to be out the rest of the season. Lewis out for next game, and same for Montoya. But thankfully, we have clinched the division. Or no, we've clinched the playoff berth. We could still lose our division win. I think if we, we win one more game, then we're fine. But... We're still currently the number one team, team in the NFL, so I would also really like to get the number one overall seed. But obviously, all that will be taking place in the next episode, where, depending on results, the games just may not matter at all. So we might get to see a bunch of backups playing in that final game. Might be some crazy, wacky players just that I just figured why not play them. So hopefully that's the case. Hopefully we can just have some fun the last two games of the year. But thank you guys for watching, subscribe if you're new, and I hope to see you all in the next video.